Hello and welcome. My name is Katie. I am a multidimensional energy guide, channel, composer, and someone who is genuinely interested in all things galactic consciousness, support from extra dimensional, interdimensional beings, of which there are many. <laughs> and in this light language activation, I really wanted to connect with the energy, the archetypal frequency of the blue avian consciousness. I connected with the blue avians maybe five years ago, firstly in dream state. It was such a realistic dream. I remember <laughs> there was three of them sitting on a wire watching me and there was a bus full of people and I was trying to convince everyone to come with me over this hill where we would experience I guess a higher dimension of living and no one on the bus wanted to come with me and I remember looking up to the blue avians and I remember pleading with them saying why aren't you helping me like why aren't you like can you say something to them and I remember them telepathically communicating with me saying almost like everybody in their own time and it was so neutral and kind of matter of fact but it really stuck with me when I woke up and I started to do some more research and look into them a little more they were so technicolored and it's like they were had an element of humanness but also very much their aesthetic was their own beings and interestingly enough when I first started to channel light language it was the blue avian consciousness that came through first so I have visitations from their energy in lots of my client sessions and I just thought I would make a recording for anyone who feels like they want to connect into the blue avian frequency I'm gonna do my best to explain what I'm sensing and feeling but mostly it's just going to be an encoded sound and energy frequency for you to wield in whatever way you wish so allowing yourself to come into a receptive open-minded, comfortable space I'm just going to tune into their energy now, their frequency So taking in a slow, long, deep breath and I'm just going to start to open up a high frequency galactic portal of light right above your field, right above your crown. They're saying this attunement to this frequency couldn't have come at a better time from many people listening to this there has been great intrigue and interest in the many star nations that are revealing themselves to many of you on the planet and we say revealing for we have always been there watching in the shadows if you will waiting These attunements are little 
micro activations, little seeds planted and they're showing me like little literal seeds being placed in different parts of the energetic body and I'm asking is this something that we should do and they're saying yes we can activate these they're saying to me it is not necessary to be so literal it is just the frequency that people can tune into within the sphere portal of their heart so I'm going to take this channel of very cosmic light, very cosmic energy, and I'm just going to very gently wield, weave it through your field. very interesting they're saying a large population of the Asian community have strong ties with the avian consciousness they're saying we work with your ascended masters Yeshua We are here to facilitate in ways that we can, not forcefully. But if you do call out, we will help. So I'm just going to run this light. And I want you to breathe into the very center point of your heart. Hmm. There's a strip of energy in the center of the throat that I'd like to work on now. He's saying something about like these set these connections were severed, severed a long time ago. It is very innate to you and to us all to commune in this way. But there is a fostering of a reconnection that is necessary, for it is different now. Those of you who know will know. So I'm just spinning this energy now in the center point of the throat, a little bit of an activation now. And as that light's just moving through the center point of the throat, I'm actually just seeing it run down into the heart. There's some type of grief that I'm tuning into in the heart. Maybe it's like a, a longing for home, a, a longing for this connection. If you do feel grief, I'm just going to create a little slide or a tube 
You can release that out of the heart now. I'm just seeing Christ, like Jesus' um, face, and his hands are held out. So if you hold grief in your heart, if you feel like it's too much and you like want to go home, it's just helping relieve, relieve that burden now. For this is for about enjoyment, about the experience, about the thrill, about the ride. So I'm just escorting that energy out of the heart. And as this grief is leaving from the heart, he's showing me there are many preconceived ideas within the mental currents that aren't necessarily facilitating a very cohesive experience. So if there are thought patterns, that you need to release that are active that are reinitiating this grief or this isolation or this loneliness I'm just going to come through and support clearing this now you are fully protected you are fully Aligned. Saying like you've never left the family of God. Just running this light down the torso. So that blue avian, like one of the beings, has stepped forward, and there's like a mudra that he's showing me. It's like if you put your thumb and your pointer finger together in a circle, and your three fingers point up. It's like an energetic suit, I feel. It's like a deep liquid. An integration suit. <laughs> um, I feel like he's making a joke. You know that saying of like, it's like water of a duck's back or like how do you get down of a duck? I can't understand. Like this energetic layer that I will project around the first layer of your physical body now will help you to let things slide, to let things wash off. Whatever hardship, whatever is coming for you, you don't always need to take it on so deeply, is what I'm feeling whilst you can and if that is your preference to do so this is your free will however we offer you this frequency to become and remain more detached in these experiences with others for it makes your life more conducive to the reality and experiences that you wish to have wonderful 
So I'm just going to project what they're showing me. Mm, I can like taste it. It's so weird. So I'm just starting at the crown and I'm just wrapping it around the first layer of your body. Perfectly harmonizing to your unique energy system. It's like a rubbery feeling. Like things are just sliding off it. Coming down around your chest, around your arms. Taking in a deep breath, feeling that light, feeling that energy. containing, I feel very contained. I feel like he's saying something, I feel like he's saying a lecture, like, mm, and it's not judgmental, it's just so matter of fact, like, you really don't need to take on the opinions of other people, you don't need to take on every little piece of information that is directed towards you, you have show me like um, how horses wear blinders, you have the ability to slow down the incoming data and information they show me like this scene from the matrix where he like slows down time and grabs the bullet you have the ability to affect the push and pull of time and choose what comes into your sacred space, your field, for the ripple effect. Say that the incoming data was like a bullet and that information was coming into your field and you really didn't want it to, but it affected you. These ripples make waves and they subtly shift and affect your vibratory status. The holding patterns. You have more ability to direct incoming data, information, codes from external forces, your government, your society your friends, your family, yourself in the mirror practice, play <laughs> they're saying like if your grandma says something that you don't really like to you pause grab that sentence it's like if it was a ball coming at you grab it pause time, look at it do I agree with this? Does this benefit me? Can I let it go? Before it comes into your inner sanctum, inner sanctuary, dissolve it in your hand. Dissolve the potency of its feeling and allow it to be but a string of words passing through. Saying, well, this is easier said than done. With great practice, you will become masters at fine-tuning what it is that you do and don't accept. And ultimately, this will shift what version of you you are living at. That is all. Okay. 
So I'm just going to let their energy is just coming up now and away, just giving thanks. If you want any help connecting, if this really resonated with you to your Blue Avian or other collective consciousness, feel free to book in for a one-on-one. -on -one. There are many other activations and sound frequencies for you to have access to in my new cosmic library. Or just continue using these frequencies as and when you need. Sending all my love.